Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to this advanced English class. I'm James. Nice to meet you. Good evening. Good evening, James. Good evening, James. And everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I'm James. Nice to meet you. And as you can see, we have a speaking session today titled Causes and Effects. And the topic is procrastination. Okay. Later, you will know what it is. But I believe many of you know what procrastination is. We have talked about this so many times. But before we do that, let's play a warm-up game with me. I'm going to show you a picture with some clues. And I challenge you to turn on your microphones to guess what it is. Okay, so let me give you an example. For example, I have a, a picture like this. Hey, for example, for example, this one. Okay, for just for example, it's okay. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh, for example, and like this. Okay, now I, I challenge you to turn on your mics and guess what that is. What is this? Play football. Play soccer. Mm, play, play soccer. soccer. Play soccer. soccer. Anything else? Play Run football. Away. Play soccer. What? Run away. Run away. Okay. So first of all, you need to look at the letters. Run. I don't think run works because R-U-N. So we have an unused letter here. So it's not run away. So play is correct. What about football? Let me guess. F-O-O-T-B-A-N. We missed two blanks. So it's not play football. Soccer, yes. Ah, so play soccer is the answer. So you know the rule of the game? Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, please turn on your mics and tell me. Hey, what is it? What is it? What is it? Overweight. Loose weight. Loose weight. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I agree with you. Lose weight. Can you spell weight for me? Weight. That's very good. Hey, I have a question for you. So I have two questions for you. First of all, how do you say, I'm sorry, what is this? Now look, this one, do you see the word? What is this? Without T, what, what does it mean? Without T. Can anyone tell me? W-E-I-G-H. What is the difference between W-E-I-G-H and W-E-I-G-H-T? Without T is a verb. Is a verb. Can you make an example, Fulin? That's very good. This is a verb. Can you make a difference? Oh, sorry, can, can you make an example? Like, um... The truck weighs 15 tons. Excuse me? The? The truck oh, the weighs truck. 15 tons. Yes, that's right. The truck weighs. Ah, uh, weigh is the verb. So you need to, you know? S. S, S. Yeah, that's right. Weighs 50 tons, something like that. Thank you so much. My second question to you is, um... What is the noun of tall? I. I. Very good. That is I. Very good, very good, very good, very good. This is a noun. A noun of high, tall, something like that, right? You may asking me, you may be asking me why, why, why is this I? But this is age. I have no idea. That's, that's the way it is. <laughs> Yeah, so this is eight, but this is eight. Okay, you need to get used to it. Now, very good class. What about the next picture? One, two, and three. What is it? See a doctor. 
Oh, I agree. That's very good. See, a doctor. That's obvious. But I always want to challenge you. I'm looking for a, you know, like a, a phrase that means see a doctor regularly, maybe once every year or two times a year to check if you have any problems with your health. Even when you are not sick, you still see a doctor to check everything. What is that called? Check up. Check up. I love it. I love that check word. Check up. Yeah, check up. And I check up. Do we say I check up? So I'm looking for a verb because check up is a noun. For example, um, beep, 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 this Sunday. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't go check up. No, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't play football with you because I beep, check up this Sunday. I have a check up. I have a checkup. Very good. I have a checkup. Yes, I have a checkup just like that. Or a health checkup if you want to make it more specific. But normally in this situation, you just need to say a checkup and people will understand. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Very good class. Now, what about the next picture? What is it? Heavy. Heavy. Oh, that makes sense to me. It is not the answer, but it's correct. It makes sense. Yeah, so heavy. What else? Handy. What? Yeah. Ah. Um, carry, carry, carry. Carry. Ah, it makes sense as well. He is carrying carry. a box. What else? Unpack, right? I'm sorry? Unpack. Unpack. Yeah, that makes sense. But <laughs> I think the number of letters exceeds mm. the answer. Well, this is an activity. Uh, bring. Oh, sorry. Bring. Bring. A bring. Bring. Oh, bring. Oh, yeah, right. Bring. Okay. Um, yeah, that's good. However, uh, okay, later I will need you to, um, I will need you to make a difference between bring and carry, but maybe after class or maybe next time, okay? You can find it out and you can ask me later. Bring and carry are different. It's not the same, okay? And, but I am looking for an activity, which means this is a gerund. Like singing, eating, dancing, Doing. Doing. doing 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 that's too general more specific please what are they doing they are okay this is an activity when you go to another place to live moving that's it thank you moving Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sorry, class. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, class. I'm sorry. I can see the problem right now. It's my mistake. Oh, I got it. I, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. So you don't lose. You win. Okay. It's a problem. So sorry for that. Now, what about this one? Go to the gym. Yes, it's, that's correct. Easy, go to the gym. But now, because you are advanced students, we are in an advanced class, I challenge you to have another term for gym to make it more formal. Uh, fitness. Yes, fitness, I love that word. Center. Center, very good, okay. Fitness center is something more formal. That's very good. Okay, and what is the action? What are they doing? Cycle. Cycling. cycling, very good. They are cycling. And yeah, they are 
um, doing the action called cycle, to cycle, okay? They're cycling, right? In general, going to the gym is called work workout. workout. Any other words? Workout. Exercise. 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 Okay. Just okay. exercise, not do exercise. Do exercise. What is the difference between exercise and do exercise? Okay, exercise is more general, right? You can do exercise, you can do yoga, you can lift. Okay, you can play sport, it's a kind of exercise as well. Or you can run, you can walk. But do exercise, it just raise your arms, stress your arms, okay, squat, okay? It's more specific. What else? I love this word. I really love this word. training train that's it train yourself training that's very good i love this word very much train you train yourself you teach your body about being healthy about being strong about being disciplined train your body it's a training okay thank you so much class now what about this one can you guess Wake up early. Oh, very good. Okay, may, may I know who just said it? Yeah, that's very good. May I know who? Chị Uyên or Chị Huyền or? Huyền. Chị Huyền. Okay, right. That's very good. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, wake up early. Good job. I have another question for you. Um, Another question for you. What is the difference between get up and wake up? Is it the same? Wake up when you leave your bed. Wake, wake up, up leave wake your up bed. You, yeah. Wake up, we still on the bed. Ah, okay. I, I know what you mean, right? Thank you. I think that's correct. Wake up means not sleep anymore. Okay. You open your eyes. It's called wake up, not sleep anymore. However, get up means get out of the bed. <laughs> out of the bed and work and do something else. Okay. Right. Thank you. And this is my challenge for you. We are learning a language. We need to learn a lot more than just vocabulary and grammar. I challenge you to tell me a saying, which means when you sleep, early and when you wake up early it is very much better than when you sleep late and when you wake up late we have a saying who knows early bird early bird no 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 early birds are totally different term an early bird is a person who registers um, in some events early and they can receive better price yeah, or some yeah, discounts. Yeah, discount, something like that. So they are called early birds. Totally different from a person who sleeps early and wakes up early, being more healthy, much better than sleeping late and waking, waking up late. Okay, let me give you a clue. What? Does it sound familiar to you? Okay, early to bed. Early to rise. Makes a man. Can you guess? Makes a man healthy and, and, and an adjective that rhymes rise. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and 
Wise. Wise. That's it. Very good. So thank you so much. Do you believe it's true? Is it true? Yes. This is a saying in Western countries. And to make sure it is around in your mind, I'd, I'd like about 10 people to repeat this phrase for the class. King of An, your mic is on. Can you repeat it first? Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. You please. Yeah, I think early to bed and early to rise, uh, you feel you, you have... Uh, enough time uh -huh. to recall your health right. and when you are better your mind is better thank you that's very good okay so that's a very good explanation uh so can you repeat this early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy and wise just repeat yes early to bed early to rise makes a man healthy and wise very good okay Ki Hui, can you help me please hey who volunteers please help me uh, early you... to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Thank you so much, Jimin. You next. Anyone else? Can you help me? Jimin, you please. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Thank you, An Bao. Very good. Now, who's next? I need 10 people to repeat this. Jimin, Ji Uyên, Ji Ha, Ji Nhu, Ji Phuong. Just take turn to say that, please. Next. Oh. Bed, early to rise, next man healthy and wise. Thank you. Now the fifth person. Early to bed, early to rise, makes the man a man healthy and wise. Thank you, Ji Uying. Now the seventh person, Ji Ha, please. Early to bed, early to rise, makes the man healthy and wise. Thank you. Ji Phuong, please. When you get ready, Yifu, you need to turn on your mic. <laughs> early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Thank you. Can you please? And last but not least, Phuong Lin, get ready. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Very good. And Phuong Lin, what about you? Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Thank you. I hope that those 10 people have helped you to get this saying around and around and around in your head. That is very good, okay, for your health. Okay, now next, what about this one? <laughs> Let me guess. Man, a uh, coffee. And okay, uh, coffee. I agree. This is correct. And coffee shop. 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 I agree. I yeah. agree. Make. Make. Mm -mm. Make. No. 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 Not work, make. work. 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 A coffee shop. No. Work at a coffee oh, shop. Work at a coffee shop. But at is not here. It's not available. So another term. Open. Open. Very open. good. So open, yeah, we get open. it. <laughs> open a coffee shop. Okay. Thank you so much, class. What about this one? <laughs> ah, this is difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult. Okay. But sleep. I asleep. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Maybe here. But no, it's not sleep here. No. <laughs> but let me give you an, a situation. Enjoy. 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 Uh, yeah, enjoy maybe, right? So just maybe, not the answer. <laughs> relax? No, not, not relax. So do you want to hear the situation? Understand. Okay, so let me say the situation. Um, after a long time of work, you need to beep. Relax. Um, it's awesome. Uh, not yet. <laughs> right. So this is two. Refresh. Refresh too long. 
break 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 what <laughs> but no relax not, not relax relax no relax yeah. is not available here enjoy sleeping enjoy, enjoy no. uh, sleeping uh, no sleeping too. okay so let me give you more glue Ah, okay. After a long time of work, after you need to, after so this, this should be a Brian. a verb, and this one should be um an infinitive. You need to sleep, you need to enjoy, you need to relax. Yeah, that makes sense. But this is the, the whole phrase. After a long time of work, you need to... Okay, so let me give you one more clue. <laughs> okay. Yourself. 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 To rest. To rest. Uh, allow. allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to uh, rest. Okay. Uh, I really love this term, glass. Allow yourself. Allow yourself. I really love it. <laughs> and I hope that today you, you, uh, you will learn this phrase. Allow yourself. Why? Why do I like it? Because normally... You are kept in, you know, like a um, daily activities. You don't have time to rest. But sometimes it's not because of someone else making you to do that. It's just you don't allow yourself. So sometimes give yourself permission to rest and you will receive Life is much better than work and work and work. Okay. Thank you so much, class. Can you repeat this word? Because some people say allow. So now say allow. Everyone say allow. 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 Oh, hey, allow. 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 Not allow. 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 That's right. Allow. Good. Allow. Very good. allow yourself to rest. Okay. Thank you. Now, today... We have talked about some good things. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you re remember the, the, the pictures that I have shown you? Allow yourself to rest. Yeah. What else? Yeah. yeah. What else? Open a coffee shop. Open a coffee Open shop. Yeah. It means like a startup. What else? Allow yourself to rest. To rest. And, uh, to rest. Yeah. What else? Only Early to bed, early to rise. Early to bed, early to rise. Early to bed, early to rise. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. Yeah, work out, train your body. What else? Check up. Check up. Check up. How the hell? Check up. See a doctor. Very good. What else? Moving. Moving to a better place. Yeah, to a better place than your current situation. What else? The last one. Lose weight. Lose weight. Thank you. Lose so weight. Very good. So those are very good activities and even more. Very good activities, but I know many of you have not done yet, right? So now allow some time to discuss with your partners. May I just uh, turn off your microphones for a while? Which of these are in your goals, but you have not done yet? And my favorite question is, why? Losing weight, getting a language certificate, changing your job. Of course, when your job is not as good as you want. Seeing a doctor, having a health checkup, waking up early, moving going to the bed early, opening a coffee shop, allow yourself to rest for several days, completing a book, taking your child to somewhere, visiting a country, 
going to the gym, running 30 minutes a day. It's time. I have sent you the picture into Zalo's group. At the same time, I am also giving them to you in the chat box. You can check it out there. And now, about 10 minutes for you to discuss with your partners in groups of two or three people. Let's go. Mm. It's my, my allowing myself to, to, to rest for several One. days mm. because I, uh, I have to work from morning to evening and um, uh, I work at the um, airline agency so um, I have to work over, over time so I don't have free time and um, uh, to, to relax. Um, so I want to. Uh, I I uh, I love traveling. I like to uh, to go somewhere to relax to enjoy, but um, I don't have uh, enough time. Mm -hmm. I just. Uh, uh have us uh, um, let me say um, a few hours uh for rest for for rest yes for rest yeah and uh, you are and, a busy and, uh, owner yes I'm busy and so busy and now I ha I have uh an English class and uh I uh, learn I learn it um every day. So um, and uh, I uh maybe I uh I have um, uh, a few days on uh, holiday. But um, I don't want to go uh, to travel on a uh, holiday because it's um, uh, more expensive than uh, normal day and um, service is uh, so bad. <laughs> oh, it's a spend. Yeah. Yes. Spend. Uh, how about you? Mm, I uh, I have not done. Uh, uh, I have not done running thirty minutes a day. I uh, wake up um, very early at oh. five thirty a.m. every day, 
and uh, at the finish uh, finish uh, our class i uh, go to bed but uh, i uh, can get uh, get up early but i can um, cannot run uh, run 30 minutes a day it's in my goal uh, for many years but until now i have not done yet have not done i uh, yes Done, done, done. Done. Yeah, done. That's, done. yeah. Yes. Why, <laughs> why, why? Because you don't have time, right? Mm, no, I have many time because I I wake up early every day, but now I'm lazy to. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> right, thank you. I I just now um, do uh, exercise morning at my uh, house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So keep going with other activities. Okay. Yes. Keep going. Thank you. Thank you, James. See you later. Two one is I want to uh, I want to buy a new house. Oh. Uh, I'm moving, moving to another place of living. Because uh, now I live in an apartment. So I don't like live in apartment. I want to uh, I want to buy a house and uh, move to there. Oh, why? So at at this time, uh, currently I live in an uh, apartment. So why do you like? Why do you why did you not living in the apartment? Mm, I think uh, it's not I free. To me uh -huh. because sometimes uh, I have to work place and I uh, go home uh, a little late. So uh -huh. I uh, I bought a um a, um I I bought a uh bảo vệ là gì quá the the rotate rotate hey. and uh, boarding. Hey, set 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 register yeah rotate Okay. Không rotate, rotate là bảo vệ thôi. Còn 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 chú bảo vệ á. Uh, security. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right. Yes, yeah. security. Yes. Security. Security. Yes, yes, security. Yes, I remember that. Yes. Security. Security. Yes, security. Ủa? Security. Yeah, yes. that's right. I don't, I don't want it. to bother. Yeah, I just, yeah. I just don't want to bother. The security oh. guards, okay, or, or, or staff, yeah. up to you, right? Guards, maybe it's too much, so staff, security staff is enough. Yes, yeah. security staff. Very good. Okay. Security I think keep going, that's very good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Keep going, keep going, that's very good, okay? So, like, um, oh, in, in the last year, so I, uh, I, I live in the, the, the house, the house so i change the news play in the apartment so that this time i feel the comfort 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 with the apartment uh so comfort? maybe comfort comfortable yeah comfortable yeah, com yeah comfortable with the apartment i tend to the when when we live in the apartment i have to the uh, the the opinion and uh, and part and environment for the children play and very the set so I... um so uh, sometime i uh, i will uh, cycling because i have a bicycle in my house and uh, at the weekend i uh, will cycling a lot or i will uh, play a soccer game with my friend yeah, yeah. that's good to hear that for mm -hmm. me uh, I just my wish is that I just keep maintain my weight now <laughs> because oh, yeah. I know I know that uh, losing weight is really a uh, difficult task. So I just wish that I can maintain my weight, <laughs> my mm -hmm. normal weight now. <laughs> yeah, losing weight I think is a uh, uh -huh. Because you know when you eat something, the the belly is uh, bigger first. But when you 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 find some way to lose some way, um, the belly is the last thing is smaller. Mm. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and Bao. Uh, sorry. And I, 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 I have a suggestion for you. Uh, I, I know what you mean. So just, you can use um this phrase, noun and to infinitive. So, the belly is the first part to something mm -hmm. and the last part to something okay so you mean become bigger is it right yes and become smaller yeah right so basically you can say become bigger become smaller smaller yeah so so can you say the again the whole sentence uh, the belly is blah, blah, blah. can you say again yeah the belly is the first part become bigger when you eat something but um, the last part become smaller is the belly very good okay thank you but um yeah that makes sense but i'd like you to be more exact more accurate so can you try to repeat this with two uh, with prepositions yeah okay, and wait and another thing is this is not part but part oh yeah part and the final sound part uh -huh. part part that's right you don't need to make it very strong like part no you don't need that but part you need to close it part yeah. okay so say again please the belly is the first part to become bigger when you eat a little bit and the last part to become smaller when you work out come on yeah, the belly is the first part, part to become bigger when you eat something and the last part to become smaller is the belly. No, not is the belly. Just, uh, yeah. When, when you work yeah. out. Oh, yeah. When you work out, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So much when you work out. One more try, please. Could you? Yeah, the, and belly? the belly is the part to become bigger and the last part, part becomes smaller when you work out. That's very good. Thank you. Ji Wing, Thank can you, you try? Yes. The belly is the first part to become bigger and the last part to become smaller. Very good. Okay. That is correct. But is it true? I don't know. Ah, now you discuss. Yeah. Yeah. Correct yeah. is when it comes to grammar and vocabulary. Yeah. You did a good job. But is it true? True is about the, the truth. Truthness of the information. <laughs> yeah. See you. Talk to you later. Yeah, to you. Thank yeah. you, Jim. Bye-bye. You. Bye -bye. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm. Keep going, please. I'm just overhearing you. Miss mm. Tantam, you can continue. Yeah, you can continue. Keep going. Ignore me. Wow. Uh, okay. So, the question is, what is, what, which up these are in your goals but you had not done yet so uh, for me i think <laughs> i can wake up early yes i always i always sleep at maybe uh, 12 a.m or 1 a.m oh, so <laughs> uh, so um, that's, uh, so um, at morning i uh, in the morning, I wake up maybe six or six half to uh to to prepare my my stuff to do to submit go to work. Yeah, I think I think I have to sleep early. So, but sometimes I think so much so I can sleep early. I just weigh the 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 um I just weigh the time to 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 sleep. Yes. Oh. Uh, we ha I think that you have the same problem as me and Miss Fan Fan. Like we cannot go to bed early. Yeah. But even though you can wake up early, right? You can wake up at six or six thirty. Yes, it is my routine, so I can I can wake up early or lately. Yeah. I I wonder how you could have enough energy for the new day. Oh yes, if if I have sleep 
over like seven or eight hour mm -hmm. per day. Mm -hmm. So next day I feel tired and less energy. If mm -hmm. if I sleep maybe five around five or six hour per day, so next day I have to energy oh. to do anything. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. so I Your think body I think got used to it. <laughs> and then in my strength because I do I do exercise, I do yoga every day. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Yeah. Yes. So it's like what I say, it's the biological clock, right? It's your <laughs> biological clock. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hello, class. Welcome back. I have been with your classmates and I have picked up some good languages for you to learn from your classmates. You may want to uh, study that at home, okay? So we have the verb bother, yes. To bother, it doesn't mean brother, okay? Bother means like annoy or mind some people. Okay, chị Thảo, she doesn't want to bother the security guards every time she comes home late. Bother, right? Because she has to knock the door. She has to wake them up when they are trying to sleep or something like that. So bother someone. Okay, okay, comfortable. Okay, yeah, this structure, you, you can study that at home. Yeah, chị Thanh Tâm cannot sleep at night because she thinks too much. Yeah, that's not wrong, but I am suggesting a better phrase for you to use in that situation. You can't keep yourself from thinking. It means you cannot stop thinking. You always think about something. Your brain just goes around, 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 around like that, and you cannot sleep. Have you ever been in this situation before? Can you let me know in the comment or can you turn on your mic and tell me? Have you ever? Have you ever got that? Have you ever got sleepless? Yes. Yeah, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Get sleepless because you cannot keep yourself from thinking. So in those situations, what do you do? I'm a... Meditation. Thinking. Meditate. Yeah, meditate is a very good uh, method. Meditate. That is why you need to practice meditating, right? Keep yourself from thinking. Yes. Don't think about anything. What else? Um, focus the, the, the breath. Focus on the breath. Very good. Yeah, that's right. What else? Keep thinking. Keep what? Keep thinking. Keep thinking. What? Keep thinking. Keep, Keep thinking. thinking. Keep thinking. Keep thinking. Really? Yeah. Because uh, you cannot keep yourself from thinking. Uh, so uh, continue, uh, continue, continue yeah, thinking. Yeah. <laughs> continue to think. Oh, <laughs> that, that's why. I think, I think the push up. Push up. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. You know, I'm just, I'm just collecting ideas. Yeah. I am yeah. not confirming, right? Because I'm not a doctor. So I'm just... Uh, uh, collecting the information so, so you can decide yourself. What else? Anyone else? I, I just write out everything that is confusing me or in my head and ah, try to sleep. Again. Right, 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 right. All oh. right. Thank you. Yeah. One of my yeah, uh, reading a book. Reading books. Yeah, that works to me. When I open the book, I sleep right away. So that's a very good. Uh, that's a, a very good method to me. I hate books. What else? Okay, so you, you can suggest to your friends later. Now, I have a, a question before we go to the next activity. How do you call a reason that you create to explain why you don't do something good? Make that, an excuse. Yes, yeah. Excuse is what I'm looking for. And... What is the the phrase to use with it? Actually, actually. Uh, excuse me? 
Actually. Actually, excuse. Mm, uh, I, I don't think it works. So I am looking for a verb that goes with excuse. People usually <laughs> beep, excuse. Make an excuse. Yeah, make, not make. Yeah, make, yeah, yeah, make, make, but not enough. Make, make, make. make one more preposition. Make, 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 make the. Mm -hmm. The is not preposition. Make an, uh, an, an, an is an article. What? Makeup excuses. Make up. Yeah, that's right. Makeup make excuses. Yeah, that's right. People usually make up excuses for not exercising, for example, for not learning English, for not going to the gym, something like that, right? Make up excuses. Anyone here who make make up excuses? Anyone? You always have a good reason not to do something. Right? Okay, so make up excuses is a phrase I'd like to introduce to you. And now, um, I'd like you to choose one activity that you find very helpful, but not able to do that yet. Let's vote. Okay. Um, okay. What? Yeah, you have. What, what do you think? Actually, you know, this is my wish list. Yeah. I never exactly. done a, a, any item in this list. Any item? Oh, yeah. item. oh nice. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So you vote for everything. Yo, that's very easy. It means you are not voting. <laughs> okay, but, but yeah, that's good. Hey, come on, class. One minute to vote. Choose an activity that is helpful, but you procrastinate. Just Probably pick. it is the last running 30 minutes a day. One vote for this. What else? Yeah, just keep a vote. Getting away. Allowing yourself to rest for several days. That's right. And my vote too. I want to vote for that. What else? Getting a language certificate. That's right. Okay, right. You know, just one. Seeing the doctor. Seeing a doctor. Yeah, one vote, one person. Everyone, uh, there are the 28 people to rest for several days. And in 30 minutes a day. Right. Okay, so I'm taking your vote. What else? Who else? Come on. Going to bed early. Going to bed early. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, going to bed early. What else? Taking my child to somewhere. Exactly. What else? Keep going, class. Each person, please make one vote. Losing weight. Losing weight. Okay. How, how weight are you? Uh, uh, I'm about right. I'm young, me. Uh, 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 yeah. May I know your weight? A uh, city four. Excuse me. Sixty four. Oh, and you want to lose weight? Why? Sixty four is not enough. Okay, just me. kidding. What else? Just kidding. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? else? Uh, completing a book. Completing a book. Anyone else who hasn't voted? Allowing myself to rest for several days. So let's pick this. Okay, this is most voted. Now I have a question for you. So why don't you do that? Allow yourself to rest. Why? Are you working too much? Are you looking at the screen for too long? Are you speaking too much? Are you staying up too late? Are you workaholic? Or uh, like Fung Lin or some people who are studying here, are you studying too much? Mm. So why? Give me some reasons why. Yeah. Why? Overthinking. Why not? Yeah, I mean, why, why don't you delay allowing yourself? Mm. Overthinking. Overthinking. Over, overthinking. What, what, why is that? Can Can you make it more clear from you? Overthinking. What do you mean by that? Why well, when you complete one task, mm -hmm. but with overthinking, you keep thinking about the next task that you need to complete, by like the next challenges that you have to face. Ah, so you cannot right. allow yourself to rest. I got it. I would say that. Uh. 
you know, an insecure feeling. Insecure. Insecure. Uh, do we have a simpler term for this insecure? Can you suggest please? Insecure means the feeling Anxious. of not safe. You don't feel safe. You feel worried. So insecure. Not happy. Not relaxed. You always have a worrying feeling in your heart. You don't feel ready. You don't feel comfortable. So that is called an insecure feeling. So because you have that feeling, you always want to work. You work, work. <laughs> What else? Uh, we call no Emily. thing to do. Okay. And oh, no. and no. No. Okay. So let's stand in line about you know, and okay. So I, think I had a many things to do. <laughs> All right. So too many tasks. Yeah, that's it. Or I can say you have heavy what? A good term for you to use heavy workload. Load. Yeah, workload. heavy workload. Low, not lot. Okay. This is low. Load. Heavy workload. Yeah, that's right. And Bao, what is that? Um, I want to the earn uh, earn the money, uh, earn the money, money when I uh, when I'm, I am young. So I want to save money for the future in my children. That's it. So you want to save for the future. That is a kind of insecure feeling. Yeah, that's right. And you want to, uh, yeah, ambitious. You want to have many things in life, so you need to work more. What else? A lack of time. Lack of time. Yeah, lack of time. Of, uh, of resting. Okay, thank you. What else, class? Okay, thank you, man. I can see that. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, Chi Huy, Chi Ngoc An, say something. I I think that of uh, the feeling of um, peer pressure. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for that it's, peer uh, pressure. Well, can you explain that? What is that? Yeah. Um. It's mean that I uh you to compare to uh other people like my friends or my college yeah and, uh, always yes yeah compare yourself to your yeah friends colleagues people around you when you look at them you want to to be at least as the same at as the them. same level yeah, at yeah, them yeah. that's right so you have a pressure from your peers what else I don't think when I absent, everything is better. Ah, the feeling of insecurity. Ah, insecurity. Yeah, but that, that's right. Okay, without me or, um, yeah, without me, things won't work. Right. So yeah, yeah. you don't have freedom with this. I understand this feeling, but yeah. Okay, I got it. One last reason, Quest. Anything else? Improve the knowledge. My knowledge. Improve the my knowledge. That's right. Yeah, improve your knowledge. Mm -hmm. You want to learn more and more and more. Okay, thank you. So we have so many reasons, many good reasons. I don't know if that's an excuse, but I, me too. I have very good reasons not allowing myself to rest for several days. I can't leave you behind you. You are the reason why I'm working, right? And I can't, I, I, I can't uh, leave you. So, but sometimes I allowed myself to rest for some days uh, at the sea and I realized how, how draining I have treated myself, okay? We need rest. What if, what if we delay allowing yourself to rest? What happens, class? Tell me some effects. Keep going.
Chịu yên. I think, I think that uh, if we wish to uh, take a rest, we, want, we really want to take a rest, mm -hmm. uh, we should uh, take a rest already uh, right away because some uh, in some day we will feel regret uh -huh. that we don't do it. Right. Um, yes. I would like to, to share one thing. Please. My friend, she is the same, the same age as me. And uh, last week, we heard that uh, she uh, passed away in an accident in Ho Chi Minh City. So uh, all of us feel sorry for her. And I think that a uh, life you have said before, life is permanent. So uh, we, life is permanent. Yes, we should uh, take a rest uh, anytime if we uh, would like. That's right. So the first reason is the first effect is you will regret not treating yourself better. That's right. You know, I always tell my wife and my son before they go to sleep, you need to use your two hands touching every part of your body and say thank you, thank you, the eyes, thank you. Uh, the heart for working properly. Thank you. The, the legs for being strong. Your body is working a lot. You don't love it like you think. Thank you. Uh, who else? <laughs> okay. So, a lot of bad effects on the. Uh, you want to say something? Please. Thank you. Min. Uh Work and life are not balanced. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. So, why is it bad? Hmm? Work and life is not balanced. So, why is that a problem? Uh, you need more energy to work well. So, I think you should take leave for several days oh. to get back with the energy. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you. Okay. You know what, class? <laughs> uh, thank you, Chi. Chi Minh. Normally, when it comes to procrastination, people usually talk about delaying, doing what is good for your work. But today, I really hope that I have inspired you not to delay doing what is good for yourself. Look, look at the activities we have done before. Like this. Uh, it's good for yourself. Okay. So, we don't have much time left. Particularly for your beloved people, your child, your mother, take your parent to somewhere before they get too old or before they are not in this life anymore. We don't have much time left. So please don't be workaholic, okay? And uh, so can you share with me the first activity you will do right away? One activity that you have been procrastinating can you share with me? What are you going to do right away this week before it's too late? I'm, you know going, I'm going to go Vũng Tàu Beach with my friend next week. Okay. Yeah. We have the decided. Yeah, thank you so much. However, I don't think that is... Um, very difficult, right? Yes. But yeah, but yes, okay, I agree with that. Ji Uying, your turn, please. And everyone else too, each person shares one thing good that you have been delaying, but today you are going to do it right now. I think that I will complete a book because book? I, I have a conversation with uh, Mr. Phuc and before. Ah. I have a gift as a, a book my friend gave me uh, one year ago, but I did not finish it. Oh, one year. Ah, that's long enough. Okay, good luck to you. Break a leg. Next, Chi Thanh Thao, please. Yes. I, 
I'm going to Dallas next week with mm -hmm. my college because right. I uh, yes I want to reset my style. That's it. So I, yes. I would not say that you will go with your friends, but I would like to say refresh yourself. I love this more. Your friends is just a reason, but refresh yourself is the purpose. Yes. Yeah. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Thank uh, you. Who else? Uh, if you don't want to turn on your mic, you can write it down in the chat box and I will screenshot. This is your promise. You need to do this right away to treat yourself better. And I will give it to you next week. Okay. And I will show everyone. Uh, if you haven't done it, you will feel ashamed of it. So, so I need some more promises. Please turn on your mics. Tikiman, please. I uh, will complete my uh, task, my goal in this year. Ah, okay, good luck to you in this year. So when 2023 finishes, you need to be finished. Finished yes. my goal. Oh, yes. Okay, good luck to you. Don't procrastinate. Who else? So I, uh, oh. I, yes, yeah, from this weekend, I, uh, I will, I will get up early, and I, I, I spend one hour to running Love every it. morning. Yeah. So. And uh, yes, and end of this, uh, end of this month, I will go to my hometown to uh, visit my my dad. Yeah, thank you so much. So good luck for you. Okay, and yeah, uh, you. this weekend, run for one hour. I hope to see your report <laughs> every yeah. day. And my, please show the six class. Boy, 30, by 6 uh, 30, I just, but I, I, uh, I um, has no I had no time to sing uh, last month. Yeah. <laughs> and I will, week, I will, yeah. Uh, this week, you need to take that seriously. Yes, okay. Anyone else? Okay. Two more. I would try to go to bed earlier. What time? By, uh, let me see, 10. Except, so, uh, except days with your class, I'll go to sleep at 10. Okay. So good luck to you. Promise yourself. Okay. Yes. And who else? Please share here and you promise yourself. Please promise yourself. Yeah, Ji Haman, I can see that. Okay. So, whatever goals you have for your own self, I wish you luck. Whether you say it out or not, I wish you luck. Love yourself. Treat yourself better. Don't procrastinate when it comes to loving yourself. Your body is the, the, you know, the last thing that stays with you when you die. Good night. Good night, everyone. Ah, good night, Miss Jam. Miss James. Miss James. Miss James. Miss James. Miss James. You, can you turn on your mic and say again? Okay, whoever wants to stay, please stay and ask me questions. Who wants to go to sleep? Sleep early, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy and wise. Okay. Who wants to ask me any question? Oh, Jiki Man has left. She has a question, but she left. Oh, oh please, uh, please uh, send the, the video of uh, class uh, on class? Uh, yeah, ah. Tuesday. Because uh, my, my, yes, oh, today is Thursday. Oh, on right. video on uh, Tuesday, I right. I didn't. You didn't see that? Okay, let me check. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, let me check. Uh, let me check. So, don't worry. Let me check. And if I uh, haven't uploaded it, I will. Yeah. Thank you, King of An, for reminding me. Yeah. On that day, I, I, I can, I can, uh, I can learn you this class because ah. my internet is, not walk. Oh yeah, right. Because and I, I, I go out. Oh, you went out. out. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jing Kong Anjie. So don't worry, I will oh, check. And 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 nói tiếng gì cho dễ này? Dạ. 
Dạ. Ở trong cái cái đề thi tốt nghiệp đó thầy có một dạ. cái câu có một cái câu mà bộ giáo dục nói có hai cái đáp án đó thầy. À, rồi, biết rồi, Nhưng rồi. mà sao em không biết sửa làm sao con không hoài sửa. Rồi, 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 Sao rồi. thấy nó, nó hợp lý mà tại sao nó lại bị sai? Rồi, thầy... ok, cái câu đó là nó đố về từ vựng à, nó đố về sắc thái nghĩa đó. Rồi đợi đợi chút xíu nha để em sợ cái câu đó. Dạ. Yeah. đây em sợ luôn cho quý vị. Nhưng, um, nhưng mà nhưng mà thực sự cái câu đó hay đó cho nên là chị Ngọc Anh đợi để thứ bảy được không thứ bảy yeah. à, khi mà các bạn cùng vô đó em sửa luôn cái cái câu đó cho dạ yeah, dạ yeah, được dạ yeah, câu đó là lớp lớp nâng cao nên nghe ở yeah. đây em thấy có phần lớn quý vị đó đã đi ngủ hết trơn rồi dạ yeah, dạ yeah, còn có 12, 11 người dạ yeah, yeah, đúng bảy. rồi thôi thứ bảy yeah. đi thứ bảy chị nhớ hỏi lại để yeah. à, để để à, em sẽ nói hỏi cuối giờ phải không thầy đúng rồi, đúng rồi bởi vì à, lúc nãy em không biết là chị hỏi cho nên là mấy bạn đi ngủ hết rồi Yeah, yeah, yeah. để cho bạn cùng nghe luôn. Yeah. Câu đó hay đó. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. hay thật hay là khi mà mình cắt nghĩa ra mình thì mình thấy nó hay. Chứ còn cái rõ ràng đề thi mà gây tranh cãi như thế là mà cuối cùng phải có hai đáp án vậy là đề thi có lỗ hổng. Nhưng mà không yeah. sao, không sao. Ok. Rồi any any other questions? Phương uh, Linh. Hi, This is a small question from my mother. Uh, please. She wonders if you have studied music theory. Nhạc lý, theory, music yes, theory. Yes, oh, because uh, she uh, yeah. say that if you can write, when you can write a lot of songs and perform uh, them so well, like you must have had some music theory classes. This is a very question, uh, interesting question, and I really want to answer this in um, a full, fully developed way. Okay, I will I will answer you right now, but I think we have a more urgent question from Chị Thanh Tâm. So can I answer her first? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, Chị Thanh Tâm, what's your question, please? Yes. Uh, hi, this I uh. I so something and I don't understand. This is uh, the 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 second C is uh, the smile, land his voice charming. Excuse me, the smile, the smile land lands lands. No, 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 lands. The verb, the verb of land. The verb of lands. Can you spell it? Can oh, can you write it down in the chat box? Okay, okay. Yeah, I think you can write it in the chat box. A lend. Yes. Lend what? Yes. His boy's charms. His boy's. Boy? Right? Am I right? Uh, ah, the boyish. Boyish. Yes, charm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I don't understand. Uh, right. right. Understanding is a very interesting thing because understanding a piece of language is not just depending on the, the language itself. Uh, it has literal meaning. It has figurative meaning. Figurative, figurative meaning. And it has contextual meaning. Which means? Uh, I don't understand why you, the land in land. here. Yes? Hmm. I think it's the book. It's a verb, yeah. Yes, but um, this is not the 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 past, uh, the present. That is the in the the past or yeah, the past, the past, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, lent, lent, lent. Yes, but but, but this is uh the first, the, the first la yes does my he. He has made his boy boy charm. So I think it's the the present uh, e good and e better. Uh, okay. Could you please help me write down the sentence in the chat box so I can give you a better explanation? Okay. Uh, yeah. the the the. Yeah, just write I it in the chat box and, yes, and, and I can I, and I can read it first and make it public. Make it yes. public to everyone. Okay. Uh, while you are writing, uh typing the, the uh the language down, I'd like to tell you about these 
uh, when it comes to meanings, we have literal meaning. It is the meaning of the, the language itself. Next, we have figurative meanings. It means ý tại ngôn ngoại. Okay. Um, yeah, ý tại ngôn ngoại. I love this phrase. The meaning is not shown directly in the words. You need to understand it beyond the language. And contextual meaning is based on the context. Oh, okay. Ah, the smart, ah, yeah, the smart lens. Yes, yes, I think. All uh, right. Boyish charm. I don't understand either. Um, but to, uh, to help you understand, I need the context. Yeah. À, để coi nha the smile là nụ cười nụ cười này nó nó lens his boyish charm so could you please show me the context yes the, 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 the context same. is uh, the whole paragraph no and no no it's, it's not a, it's just a sample uh, when I shot in a camera it's nationally so wait a minute, please. I yes. ah, yeah. my yeah. ah, I got it. The smile lent his face a boyish charm. The smile lent his face a boyish charm. Đúng không nha, chị Thanh Tâm? Phải gì đúng không? Oh, yeah. Yes. Phải không? Okay, thank yes, you. Yes, 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 yes. Because the word lend needs two objects lend somebody or something something again lend is the verb that has two objects when you lend somebody something you give something to somebody yes and yes. later he has to return that thing to you that is the meaning of the word lend. Therefore, if you yes. just say the smile lends this, I, I have no idea. But here, look. Oh, where? Okay. Ah, here, here. The smile lent his face a boyish charm. The first object is his face. This is direct object, D-O. And a boyish charm is indirect object, the second object, I-O. So it means the smile, his smile, he's smiling. And that smile gives his face a charm of a person who behaves like a boy. A boy means not a man. It means um, he is handsome, I must say. He is charming, but he looks like a boy. He doesn't look like a man, okay? Anyway, uh, he looks good. He doesn't look bad, right? And why? Why does he look like a boy? Because of his smile. He doesn't look like a boy. When he doesn't smile. However, when he smiles, that smile makes him look cute like a boy and I think it's a charm however that boyish charm doesn't belong to him forever that boyish charm is brought by by what can you turn on your mic and tell me, everyone, who is following this lesson? For his smile. His smile. 
So I say, this is Lent. His smile, Lent, just Lent. His face, a boyish charm. When he stops smiling, his face is not charming anymore. Does it make sense to you? Yes. Okay. okay I understand don't worry about that. that. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. If, if you don't understand, I can translate that. Okay. But I believe you can understand it. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Okay. Right. Yes. Fung Do you understand Fung Lun? Yes. I got it. Okay. And now I will tell you the story of uh, music theory. Uh, but Anyone else who, who wants to ask me uh, English-related questions? No, okay. I would like to answer this question in, um, in Vietnamese. May I? Yeah. Right, because I want everyone to understand the nature of this. Đầu tiên, cái này hơi khó đối với Phương Linh, nhưng mà Tôi rất tin là em hiểu được bởi vì mặc dù em 15 tuổi thì phải, đúng không? Nhưng mà em có những uh, suy nghĩ, em có mindset giống như là một sinh viên. Đó là một lời khen đó em, chứ không phải là lời chê em già trước tuổi đâu. Ở đây chúng ta có cái gọi là lý thuyết. Vậy thì lý thuyết là cái gì? Wait a minute, mm, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to use Vietnamese font here. Lý thuyết. Oh, why? Please wait a minute. I have a trouble. I have problem with Vietnamese typing. Here it is. Okay. Lý thuyết là những gì người ta đúc kết được từ thực tế. Cái đó gọi là practice. Em thấy lạ không? Lạ không? Thấy lạ không Phương Linh? Bình thường khi mình học với em ha Thì mình sẽ học lý thuyết trước đúng không? Rồi sau đó mình sẽ áp dụng vào thực hành đúng không Linh? Yeah. Nhưng mà em có bao giờ thắc mắc Tại sao người ta tìm được lý thuyết đó hay không? Tại sao lại có cái lý thuyết đó? Yeah. Thì tức nó phải dựa vào thực tế đúng không? Chẳng hạn tôi nói ví dụ như là uh, Chúng ta ok các bạn Khi mà thấy sần Dần X thì mình làm gì Phương Linh nhờ Và các bạn, các anh chị nhờ Mình làm gì Nhấn trước những Nhấn cái trước đó. đó Đây là lý thuyết đúng không Ở Lý thuyết để đâu ra vậy Cái luật để đâu ra vậy à, Thượng đế tạo ra hả Phải không Thượng đế đã tạo ra thượng đế Khi mà đẻ ra tiếng Anh Thì đẻ ra luôn Một cái cuốn cẩm nang kế bên Phải không Tất nhiên là không rồi Không Lý thuyết này là do con người đúc kết được Từ những cái điểm chung Của những cái họ quan sát thấy Và họ đúc kết thành cái quy luật cái đó gọi là lý thuyết. Đó. Và quý vị thấy rồi. Đúc kết những điểm chung. Thì luôn có những điểm riêng. Những điểm không chung. Thì những điểm đó người ta gọi là. Ngoại lệ. Bất kỳ quy luật nào. Cũng sẽ có ngoại lệ. Đúng không ạ? Đó. Vậy thì lý thuyết cũng vậy. Tùy vào cái công cụ đo lường mà nó sẽ có những cái lý thuyết khác nhau đôi khi là mâu thuẫn nữa cơ phải không ạ tùy vào cái độ chính xác của công cụ đo lường tùy vào cái phương pháp đo lường mà người ta có những cái cách khác nhau để tìm được một cái quy luật nào đó thì cái đó gọi là lý thuyết tới đây Phương Linh nghe có trù tượng quá không em Is that okay? yeah, hiểu Đúng không? Ừ. Hiểu ha? ok thank you thế nhạc lý là gì vậy em có phải là lý thuyết về âm thanh không? <cười> cái, cách, ờ, cái cách mà chúng ta xây dựng các nốt nhạc theo một cái công thức nào đó. đó Và những cái người mà họ tạo ra nhạc lý Ủa, theo em, theo Phương Linh, âm nhạc có trước hay là nhạc lý có trước? Dạ, âm nhạc có đó, trước. Đó, là âm nhạc có trước đúng không? Trời ơi, mấy người mà hát nhạc cổ truyền làm gì biết nhạc lý làm gì biết đồn lên mi phá son nhưng họ vẫn có nhạc lý nha nhưng mà họ xây dựng trên một cái thang khác một cái hệ quy chiếu khác một cái công thức đo lường khác ví dụ như là nhạc cổ truyền của việt nam thì họ xây dựng trên cái thang ngũ cung không phải là đồ re mi phá son la mà là họ sự sang xê cống 
liếu phạn u gì đó vẫn có lý thuyết đố em vậy thì uh, trả lời câu hỏi của em là thầy có học lý thuyết không thầy học nhạc lý không mà tại sao thầy uh, viết được nhạc thì câu trả lời là không có học nhưng không phải là không học tới đây có rối não không phương linh đúng là là không có đi học nhạc nhưng không phải không học có make sense không hả phương linh nghĩ là có <cười> nghĩ là có ok <cười> rồi thầy không không thực sự là có một cái khó về nhạc lý hay gì đó đúng rồi đúng rồi đúng rồi có thể cảm nhận âm thanh với lại phối hợp với những cái nốt nhạc cơ bản thì thầy vẫn tạo ra những bài hát được đúng thầy rồi. Đúng rồi, đúng rồi, đúng là như vậy đó em. Vậy thì cái uh, thực sự mà nói thì uh, những gì tôi biết cũng là những gì mà các bạn được học ở trường, học về cung, về quản và uh, học về hợp âm, hòa âm, những cái đó. Uh, may mắn là có một chút năng khiếu cho nên là tôi lĩnh hội được những cái khái niệm đó. Nó nhanh hơn là những người bạn khác cũng học môn âm nhạc lớp 6, lớp 7, lớp 8. Đó, vậy thì cái đó là tôi cũng chỉ học ở trong trường như vậy thôi Những cái cơ bản Còn việc sáng tác một bài hát thì nó có quy luật đem Nó có quy tắc hết Nó có hết Và tôi tôi biết được điều đó Vì tôi đã từng tham dự một cái lớp sáng tác của nhạc sĩ Võ Hoài Phúc Và khi tôi tham dự lớp đó Thì lúc đó tôi đã sáng tác nhạc rồi ờ, Chị chỉ qua lớp để mà Uhm, giao lưu với các học viên của anh Phúc thôi Nhưng mà sau khi học xong Thì tôi mới thấy oh, Thì ra là vậy Thì ra những cái mà không dài Mình tự tìm tòi, mình tự đúc kết Nó được gọi là như vậy nè Đó Em mình dương được ha Rồi Sẵn từ yes. ừ, đó Cho nên là trả lời coi của em là Không có học nhạc lý Nhưng vẫn Tôi cũng tự đúc kết từ những gì mà tôi nghe nhạc được Từ những gì tôi quan sát được Theo cái lý thuyết của riêng tôi Là tôi áp dụng trên cái thang âm đó Nếu như mà tôi có cơ hội đi học nhạc Đàng hoàng Thì tôi sẽ gọi tên những cái đó Đúng hơn Đúng cái thuật ngữ của nó Xin hết Dạ yeah. yeah, Cảm ơn thầy Đó là vậy vừa lòng em không Dạ yeah, quá vừa lòng Quá vừa lòng à, Ok Thank you Trời Yes. Chứ giờ tôi mà trả lời không Thì tôi nghĩ là nó sẽ không có Truyền đạt đúng được Cái 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 thắc mắc của mẹ em Tại vì có thể là mẹ em sẽ nói Ủa, không học nhạc lý Sao sáng tác được Tức là phải học, phải biết chứ Biết những cái quy luật của nó Rồi, xin hết Còn câu hỏi nào nữa không? Any other questions? Ok It's time we slept. Early to bed, early to rise makes a man healthy and wise. Nice. Good night to you, class. Thank you for staying and listening to my rambling stories. Okay, good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Jay. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good night, good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.